And tonight, proof that one local soup kitchen is making a difference in the community. It is St. James Food Pantry. They feed up to 125 families a day. They get their food from the New Jersey Community Food Bank. But with the rising cost of food, the pantry is now spending $5,000 a month on meat alone just to meet the demand. And I spent time with one mother whose life has changed for the better in large part because she doesn't need to worry about her kids going hungry. Rebecca makes this trip home from St. James Food Pantry once a month. As she unpacks bags of groceries, each item is like a gift. Some good apple juice. Kids will love this. Ooh, the mozzarella. And cottage cheese. We made some lasagna with that. A surprise oh, is the popcorn mixed with a favorite chocolate treat that she knows her kids will devour. Soup. For me, it's the meat. The the chicken. Oh, wow. So that will feed the whole family. Uh, yes. You, you hold that chicken and you're, you're like <laughs> smiling, you know, when, when, when you know it's there in yeah. your freezer and available. Yeah, because, you know, food is expensive. Too expensive for Rebecca to make ends meet. She's a single mom. Pictures of her four children hang on the refrigerator door. She's also a domestic violence survivor and works nights as a certified nursing assistant. If this service wasn't there for you, mm -hmm. what would life be like? It'd be kind of hard towards the end of the month. A time when bills are due and food in the refrigerator and cabinets tends to run low. Make some pasta today. Is this dinner tonight? Oh, yes, yes, because they don't get home till later. When we first met Rebecca, Rebecca wasn't employed. Vesta Godwin-Clark runs St. James Social Services Corporation. The center is the largest food provider in Essex County. Absolutely no one is turned away. It's a ministry when you know that you're doing something to help someone else. They help out. They help out big time. And Rebecca is grateful. Each tomato and onion she slices to prepare tonight's meal, even the spices to flavor the food, is sourced from a mix of funding, donations, and volunteers. Her children, 10, 8, 5, and 3, will not go hungry. But she recalls a time when that was the case. What was that feeling like? Bad, you know, bad. What you gonna do next? Coming up here, I got a lot of hope. From where I came from, you know, domestic violence and everything like that, it really touches me that people care and they wanna help build people back up. And that is exactly the work that St. James is doing and what they've done for Rebecca, not just helping out with, towards the end of the month with food supplies, but also helping her, you know, get her career started, guiding her along the process. She got certified. She's yeah. working, you know, as a nursing assistant. Her kids are fed and she's getting, you know, she's got a better life because of them. And that's what's so striking. She's working. She's not yeah. just putting her hand out. Nope. She's doing everything she can. And there are right. more and more families just like her. Right. And that is why the need is so important. The need is so great out there. Wow. Great story.